we finally made it to Haiti. Y'all, I've been wanting to get to Haiti for so long. So now we're finally here and I'm gonna take y'all along with me. So let's go. Now, some quick tidbits before you get there. There's only one flight a day that goes into Cap Haitian. That comes from Fort Lauderdale on Spirit. And I'm not kidding. It is one flight in a day, one flight out a day. Um, just for background purposes, I do not have a Haitian background. I do not know Creole. I did not know anybody there prior to going. So this is just my perspective as someone who is literally has no connection to Haiti at all. Um, before you get there, you definitely want to download WhatsApp on your phone. If you have a T-Mobile they have an um, unlimited service plan where you could still text. You can't call anyone, but texting definitely helps. And then, um, of course, make sure you have everything, all of your transportation scheduled ahead of time. Another thing is when you're going through Im immigration, um, make sure that you're keeping all of your documents with you. You're going to need them when you get back. Now, I did travel by myself to Haiti. Um, I ended up meeting people, luckily, um, at the hotel and during my tour. So I spent a lot of my time with them as well. And then another thing is some of these videos are going to be horizontal. Some are going to be vertical. Just bear with me. And I also added some stuff from TikTok in here as well. So I'm not continuing to repeat myself. So. <laughs> What is this, the market? No, the station. Station of the cycle. Obligé pas c'est votre tour. They said a lot of people came out here for spring break? Yeah, yes. It was a lot. Yeah. It looks fun. Once it all the time, you know. If you if you never been to that So Porto Prince is really a uh, danger? Now, if you're staying at Satama Hotel, that is most likely the route that you're going to take. Once you get here, um, it's going to just look so beautiful, just like this. Very tropical, very luxurious, very much for me. Um, there are two security posts and a big old gate outside, so you are safe, babes. You're going to get there before your check-in time. The flight gets there before 12 o'clock, and check-in isn't until around like 3 or 4. But you can still check in. They'll hold your bags for you, and you could go down to the bottom floor um, to where the bar and the pool are and just kind of chill out to your your room is ready there are five floors to satama hotel each floor has something different the fourth one is for venues like weddings and church um, the third one is for breakfast which is included and they alternate between um, like a traditional breakfast and a traditional haitian breakfast so just each day is different um the second floor is just for some more rooms and then the first floor is where the pool and the bar are in the restaurant and one thing about Haiti or really hotels to time and just in general, baby, you're going to hear that music from sunup to sundown. And I'm very much here for it. And the pool was lit up every day. We had a lot of fun out there.
bad girls want me, but not you. I want to know. I want to know. Should be not this kind thing with a mato moon. Oh, no, no. Not the liquor for things you do and make me. No, 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 no. This distance is taking a hold of me for sure. Oh, baby, come. For the mirrors on this slide, so that's cute. Um, the mirrors, safe hangers, very much pretty basic. So I got one queen bed, some waters, TV, very. <laughs> Jar, whatever. Um, and a nice little chair over here. So I did get a little balcony. It looks like I have half of the city, but half of the ocean as well. These palm trees are blocking, but still a pretty nice patio. I could be in my own little area. I could low key do some stuff over here without people realizing what I'm doing. Now I'm very much here for that. All right, let me close this. So the room was actually really great. Um, it just needed better quality furniture, but we moved. Me and the girl that I met at the hotel decided to go out together on the strip. So we got dropped off at Lakai and then we started walking down the strip to Cap Deli. And a taxi from the hotel was $16. Baby, let me give y'all the tea on some of the restaurants I went to while I was in Cap Haitian. So the first one that I went to was Cap Deli. That was the most popular one. I would date, I would say that it's definitely um, catered towards tourists. Uh, the menu was definitely a little, I'm not gonna say Americanized, but I guess low-key Americanized. Um, but I liked it in here. The vibe was cool. They had a DJ, they had really good drinks. I felt very safe. Um, and they was vibing, they was dancing. They was not afraid to have a good time. The place that we went to was Lakai. Lakai is definitely more authentic Haitian food. Um, it was giving date night, family night, special occasion vibes in there, but it was really, uh, it was just really nice, very chill. This is so authentic, you guys. The menu, I couldn't read anything on that menu and I ended up just getting pizza because I was so overwhelmed. I'm like, I don't know what I'm looking at, but eventually I learned how to basically order me some chicken because you can never go wrong with chicken. Um, and then another benefit of this restaurant is that you could use a card and save all your cash for like your taxi rides and stuff like that. After we left Lakai, we walked down the strip and y'all, the strip is very lively. Um, it's nothing to be afraid of, but definitely pay attention, keep your head on the swivel. There's a lot of smaller like food trucks, other little restaurants and bars that you could go to. Um, and if you decide to go to those, cool. When you keep walking down this strip, you're gonna end up at Bucanye. Bucanye was my favorite because it was definitely more of like a younger, more lively crowd. 
Um, the drinks were good, but the food took forever and it wasn't just my experience. So just kind of be aware of that. Um, on my last day, I ended up at a restaurant called Deco Bar and I actually really like Deco Bar. It's right off of the water. If I were to go back by myself, I would only go in the daytime. I didn't mean to cut myself off, but um, I was saying that I wouldn't go to Deco Bar by myself at night because it's at the end of a cul-de-sac and at nighttime it is very dark. But here is a list of all of the restaurants. Um, some of them I went to, but when I put this information on TikTok, it kind of blew up and everybody was putting their recommendations. So I wanted to add those recommendations in there as well. Um, Guag is like, everyone was in the comments giving that a 10 out of 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 10. So I wanted to make sure I add that in there. And then Tap Tap Now is a food delivery service in Cap Haitian and I thought that was really cool so I wanted to add that in here as well. So at this point, um, as we were on our way to the beaches, I started to see some of the other hotels that Cap Haitian has. And I only saw one of them prior to coming that I was trying to do research on, but I chose to stay at Hotel Satama. But after riding through, um, I saw the other hotels and I actually liked them. So one of them is Comilla Beach Resort, which you could do a $5 day pass. The other two uh, really look beautiful online, but there just wasn't a lot to see. So if you do have some information about those hotels, please put them in the comments so other people could look into them and Cap Haitian could start to get more tourism. So when you're on your way to the beach, make sure that you have plenty of cash. They have little stores and you could also buy food from the local fishermen out there. They also have a restaurant at Belly Beach and also please make sure that you have sunscreen. Y'all, I've never been sunburned a day in my life, but I definitely got sunburned while I was in Haiti. So make sure you have that as well. Y'all know I had to get my pictures in before it was time to eat. And they came out so cute. No, no they're dead? Fresh, fresh lobster, y'all, straight out of the ocean. 
Ça m'a mort, quitte le qui m'a mis en vacances. Ok, ça va bon pour nous, mec. Oui. Ah ouais, il y a des petits colles. Il y a des petits colles. Il y a des petits colles. Water. I am not getting any. You acting like you're cute and you is. That's all I want to say. It's hot as hell. But it feels so good. This sand is hot as hell. Woo. God, it's my little boo. That's my man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, Y'all, they were getting that fish and those lobsters straight out of the water and taking it on the beach and cooking it. They were cleaning it. They had everything prepared so that it was wrapped up and fresh when it got to you. I thought that was just so cool. And no, it is not necessary for you to exchange your currency. Um, there was actually a little old lady outside of the airport to exchange your currency with, but it's not necessary. You could just bring your dollars out there. Um, this is the name of the tour guy that I went with out on need tours and I just love them. We had such a good time. Once the sand came out, it's like all the people, all the joy came right with it. Um, they had the snorkeling tours out there, which I didn't know prior to, but if you're interested in that, definitely they have that and look into it. Um, these are the name of the beaches that I went to and if you have any information about the other beaches put it in the comments y'all What's that's Labadee? No, it's Gobi Gobi back from the beach um i went back to the hotel at this point i'm on cloud nine child but um i just went down to the pool and was chilling out with some people i met at the hotel we were out there having a really good time 
and I got some food and some drinks from the uh, bar. But then later on that night, we went back to the strip again. And at this point, I don't know if they were preparing for the block party or if it was already the block party, if it was a parade. I don't know. It was lit outside. And I was like, God damn. But yeah. And then this is the next day uh, we went to breakfast. And this is when they had the Haitian breakfast, which is for one spaghetti. I didn't know that, but I'm I'm here for it. I could I could get with that. Um, the eggs were really, really good. The pancakes were regular. I've never seen these biscuits before, but I wanted to try it. And that was, um, some hot cocoa and some porridge, I believe they said. After that, I went back to the beaches and this is the day that we went to Caras. Um, and when we got to Caras, we were having a really, really good time, y'all. I was just enjoying, enjoying my time, baby. Okay. Y'all, that water was so beautiful. The greenery, the scenery, just... Just watching these videos makes me miss it again. And they actually have some villas like right off of the water. I wasn't going to say anything about them because I found out that they're not owned by local Haitians. And I'm here to support local Haitians. And these are some of the guys that I met prior to. Um, I found out that Zemi Wang, Zemi Wang, if I'm saying it right, means my friend. So those are my Zemi, Zemi Wang, yo. <laughs> and my friend was like, it looks like you're always around a bunch of guys. And honestly, I was. But to be a just a woman by myself, I, there was not one time that I felt out of place, that I felt awkward, that I felt uncomfortable. They were so nice. If anything, I felt protected more than anything. So if you are solo traveling as a woman, I there was not one time that I really was concerned for my safety. Of course, I'm always cautious, but nothing happened, you guys. Everyone was very respectful, and I definitely want to make sure that I let people know that as well. Your friend, maybe your friend is there. Uh, who's there? Yeah, your friend. Pregunta, o Eduardo não tá se secretando nem a. Se me der um paquete de pano cá, tem cá, tem vinte. Não tá bom para isso com a gente. Eu vou ganhar esse dá.
So the million dollar question is, girl, how the hell did you get to Haiti? How did you get all this stuff booked? How did you get yourself situated in a place that you don't know anything about? And it's literally because I found this guy on TikTok and I reached out to him because he was posting a lot of stuff from Haiti. I thought he was just like, you know, posting random stuff, but I ended up starting to ask him questions and he's a whole talk ride y'all. Like he does it. This is his job. So he literally made my itinerary for me. I told him what I wanted to do. Um, and he has so many other suggestions and he kept it safe. He already was, uh, things I was asking for because I wanted to go to Jacques Mel. He was like, no, um, <laughs> that's not safe for you right now. If you're not already Haitian, no. So he definitely kept my safety in mind. He let me know what a lot of things to do out there was. I told him what I wanted to do. He connected me with my tour guide. He connected me with transportation to the airport. He connected me with all kind of stuff. He let me know the pricing. He let me know what to say. He let me know everything so i'm gonna put his information in here i'm gonna put um the information for my tour guide on here and i'm also i found another company out there which i saw prior to but i didn't go through them but i met the guy while i was out in haiti and he's so sweet as well and he's very professional um he has safe trips haiti on instagram the tour guide is adoni tours when you go to their instagram page they have their whatsapp information um and to me that was a personalized tour because if you tell them which beaches you want to go to then they could make that based off of where you went to go not just telling you where they're gonna take you you know what I mean um and then for Silva he has follow him on TikTok follow him on Instagram he has two pages on Instagram um and he has a business he sells merchandise he writes books he's he's the shit y'all I'm not gonna lie he's the shit so follow him follow all these places if you're interested and I hope you guys go and I hope you guys have a great time if you guys have other great information to put in the comments please do so they've been sharing all kind of information on TikTok I love that um, and if you know anybody else who wants to go to Haiti, but maybe a little scared, just let them know it is safe to go to Cap Haitian specifically. Um, don't let the media stop you from living your best life. And please, please, please visit Haiti. They're so underrated. I love my trip. I love every single thing about it. I don't regret it. I'm actually planning to go again. So um, I hope you guys go too. Love you guys. Bye.